What's up everyone, this is Squigs, and today we're going to do something a little different. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. I'll probably be making much more of these, but for now, we're going to do the first one. How to create a custom death block. Now, a big problem in making hacks is saying you want your functionality not growing out of the ground. Because munchers are plants, and they grow out of the ground. So maybe you want a muncher, like right here, maybe. Make this a little bit trickier on your uh, your players. But you can't have that because they're just clipping themselves, gnawing at nothing, floating. It's no good. It's no good. You can't have it like that. And let's say you also want some munchers, maybe some munchers right here, to kind of make that jump a little bit more difficult. Yeah, also can't have that. Now you can put a little block underneath them using our uh, our blocks right here. I mean, that doesn't look terrible, but it kind of gets rid of the uh, the whole feel. You know what I mean? So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to create a custom death block, and it's really not that hard. So right up here, you have open 16 by 16 tile map editor window. <laughs> so we're going to click on that real quick, and these are all your tiles in the game right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these that you want to be your custom death block. Now, I don't know exactly which one you should pick. I probably... I'm going to go with this block right here, because we're also going to change the color, so it's not going to look exactly the same, but you got to pick a block that you want to um, to represent it. I'll grab a few. So we'll select this one here just by left-clicking on it, and going down to page 4, you can click, uh, put in page 4 here and go right to it. This is where I start doing all my custom blocks, personally. I leave a nice big chunk of space for everyone else. So page 4, you can see I've already done some for this hack before, and we're just going to, after, oh, I'm not selecting it anymore, left-click to select it, Right click to place it down. Not too bad, right? Left click to select it. Right click to place it down. Left click to select it. Right click to place it down. I'm just going to make a couple different death blocks here. Right click to place it down. So, actually, let's move let's move all these down here so you don't get confused with my my other stuff. So, basically, this one right here, I'm going to show you how to flip the munchers because that's that's pretty easy. You just come right over here flip Y, now you have an upside down muncher. You cannot rotate it. So you can't have left and right munchers as easy as this. You can flip X, but that will just... It's not going to do much. It just flips it left and right like over over the side. Very easy to make upside down ones though. So that's another thing to keep in mind for right over here. We're going to use that. Um, but for the custom death block, basically all we want to do is have a block that doesn't look like a muncher, but acts like a muncher. So we go find our muncher or whatever tile we want to mirror. We click on it, and we see it says acts as 12F right here. So this is the original tile. 12F is a muncher. It's always a muncher. You have to be careful. Some of these ones down here, they change with the um, tile set. So you can kind of hover over them. It says a tile set specific sprite. Those ones are a little bit weird. But this one will say a black piranha plant, which is actually an object instead of a sprite. So basically, that one is always going to be a muncher. So it acts as 12F. We come down here. We make our custom tile, which is currently acting as a brown used block, 132. We have it act as 12F. That is as good as a muncher right now. That's all you have to do. But we also are going to change the palette up here in order to give it a... We don't want just brown used blocks to kill you every time you touch them or have the player confused. So by going up here, we can cycle through some palettes. We can get a nice, like, oh, look at that deadly black palette. So the problem with this one in particular is there's a little bit of shading up there, so you want to get a nice one with the shading. I guess the best looking one is that. It's not it's not ideal because it's got a little bit of weird coloring, but, I mean, what are you going to do? We're also going to change this one around, see if we can find a nice death block here. Not the greatest colors, but this one's not bad. We'll also make this one a 12F. What about the um, the concrete? Well, the concrete just looks awful. We can make it flash like the uh, the palette for the coin for some reason, but that's no good. We're not even going to mess with the concrete. So basically, we'll have these two as death blocks. I actually like this one better, a little better, but uh, I really don't like that shading in the corner. Anyways, we've done all this. These both act as 12F. This acts as 12F as well because that's what it was originally. We just click save. Don't forget to hit save up here. Lunar Magic has a save here, a save here, a save in your overworld editor up here, and they all save different parts of your fucking ROM for some reason. There's no just save all kind of thing, so you would go back in and they would look like these, these normal unused things, because it just didn't save your tile data. Anyways, so now we have that. Very easy to put in as well. 
So first, we're going to take care of these floating ones. We go up here. What happened to this? Up to all my fucking icons. Hold on one second, folks. Yeah, okay, that brought him back. That was a little weird. Anyways, we're going to go up to our object editor. This list, A, all of our objects, as normal, as you can see. We're going to go to the direct map 16 access. And since I started on page 4, this is where they're going to be. Now, this little bullet shows you everything. As you can see, it looks just like our little editor window. So let me scroll over a little bit. Yep. Now we're going to take our upside down muncher. Click left click on him, right click to put him in. It's as easy as that. We can even drag him around. Upside down munchers for days. Not too bad, folks, right? Have we got these floating things? Not anymore. Let's replace them with these. It's a little bit dark. Actually, you know, I might like this one better. Yeah, we'll have one of each because that's not confusing as shit in a ROM hack. But yeah, for for example's sake, we'll have one of each. We'll put some more upside down munchers here. Look at our hack is looking spectacular. Boom. So we put some more death blocks. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these in my hack going forward. I was going to use this, but I mean, that's pretty ugly. <laughs> I was going to try to find something for that anyways. Anyways, so we got this. We're going to close it out. We'll save everything here, and we'll give it a test to see if it worked. Oh my, too loud. I don't know why I have the volume on and on, considering there's no music in most of this. We'll go over here to the mole train. We will wait for it to come on down. Jump on board. Oh, that looks like some nice treasure. And there we go, we got ourselves some floating munchers. Oh, better watch out for the death blocks that are way out of reach. <sighs> and this part's probably going to kill me. No, it almost did. And over here, we can see they work just like munchers. It's as easy as that, folks. And now you don't have to have those floating disasters in your hack. So I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of Lunar Magic Tips. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call this series yet, so that's what I'm going to close off with. If you'd like to see more of these, please let me know. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. There's a lot of little things that I feel are just, like, not documented very well. That are, like, that was easy as hell to do, but it took me forever to figure it out. Because there was just no easy documentation for this. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, please let me know anything in the comments that you don't know how to do yourself. I would be happy to, um... Happy to do a little tutorial on it if I know how to do it, and have a wonderful afternoon. Take it easy, my friends.